Hi, I'm Tyler Bronski. I'm with Zach Groats of the Bridgeport Bluefish, former pitcher for the Washington Wild Things, and then also a member for the Los Angeles Dodgers and Houston Astros organization. Now, Zach, you were drafted in the 2015 draft by the Houston Astros. Take me through draft day for you. What were you feeling? Who were you with? Just what? How special was that day for you? Uh, it, you know, it was really special. And it's actually a crazy story on how it happened, but uh, I was just at my apartment in Florida, and I was told I'd get a call on the, on day three. So I was kind of just waiting around, waiting around, and just kept checking Twitter. And uh, I ended up getting a phone call from my coach. He he called me and said, uh, "Hey, man, what are you doing? They're trying to call you. You're not answering." I was like, "Uh." Well, I've had my phone on me the entire time, so I would know if they tried yeah. to call. He's like, "All right, well, I guess text text um, you know the scout that's been been talking to you and get a hold of him." So I text him, and then he ends up calling me back later, a couple rounds later. And he said, "Oh man, sorry, uh, I had the wrong number. We were calling, texting the wrong number, and all right, we'll get it, we'll get yeah. it squared away." And I actually found out that I got drafted through Twitter. Wow. Yeah, first, and then they, they called like five, ten minutes later. Like, so it was okay. it was a weird situation, but. I was scrolling through Twitter just yeah. checking up on it, and that's how I found out. And then, you know, kind of just a huge, like, heart dropped. I was like, wow, it actually happened. Yeah. And, you know, finally came true. That's awesome. Now, you played in that 2015 season in the Astros organization, yeah. reaching low A ball. Mm -hmm. What are some things you learned about professional baseball that you didn't know or expect prior? Uh, that's a grind. Yeah. You play every day. It's not like uh, college where... You know, you just go to class during the week, and then you, you get a series on the weekend. It's every day, and especially being in the bullpen, I had to learn how to kind of bring it every day and not, you know, some days you, you go out and you feel really well and you hope you play that day, and a lot of times you don't. And some days you play catch and you're hoping you don't go on that day, and that's kind of how it was for the first couple months for me, and then I kind of just learned how to be able to focus and lock in every day and be able to come out of the bullpen every day sure. yeah definitely now last year you played uh with the washington wild things in the frontier league mm -hmm. before the dodgers actually signed you what was that like for you when you found out you know you're joining the dodgers organization and then you're getting out of indie ball um yeah i heard it was really hard to get out of indie ball and i was throwing really well so i was just doing everything that i could to get out of there and when i found out it was surreal and i just didn't i was like wow it's actually happening again I'm getting out, you know and uh, as far as going to the Dodgers it was just kind of funny because I'm from the San Francisco area and my family we grew up Giants fans and all my friends are Giants fans but um, you know it didn't matter to me who it was and you know after that I like the Dodgers more sure. than the Giants at the time so did they convert to Dodgers fans for you um, <laughs> I mean I didn't play with them long enough so they they actually didn't get any Dodgers gear really so not really. No. They didn't convert. That's fine. <laughs> now, you're in the Atlantic League now with the Bridgeport Bluefish. It's kind of like the big boys league for independent baseball. A lot of guys in this league, double-A, triple-A, and a lot of major league time. So how are you adjusting to uh, the hitters in this league and just the veteran approach they take at the plate? You know, coming into it, I wasn't sure, you know, how much different it was going to be. And, you know, I thought it was going to be a, a really big step and a lot harder. And so it, it has, but, you know, I, I've – feel like I've adjusted well I've talked to these guys um, early on in the season I talked to Albie or Carp and Manny and you know they just kind of give some tips here and there and once you get your feet wet a couple times you know the those nerves go away sure. and you kind of just sit in and, and uh, start rolling with it yeah definitely final question for you Zach um, for the Bridgeport Bluefish fans that are watching this right now I guess that haven't seen you pitch yet how would you describe yourself as a pitcher and just like what makes you so effective don't have your kids watch me and say throw like him because it's it's weird it's unorthodox like when i give lessons i don't tell people to try to throw like me i i think it's weird but that's that's why it's effective it, it's i have like a hitch in there it comes out of a weird slot sometimes it comes out of multiple slots and but for the most part it's just throwing throwing the ball in the zone throwing strikes yeah, definitely well zach thank you so much yeah, and just all the best to you this season